Rob from Two Turtle Gardens, your host, primary host that is, my wife is too. I uh, filmed all the action here in um, 4K and it didn't pan out. Uh, I have a faulty battery, it absolutely died on me right in mid filming. It was an epic movie, guys. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, what I've done is I've taken beefsteak tomatoes and I put a seed in each one of these. Now normally you put two or three seeds, but I'm pretty confident I'll be able to germinate these without any issues. And I had the pre-mixed soil, garden soil, and uh, lighter material to start these seeds. And uh, that's going to take oh, probably about five or six days to germinate. And then, uh, so that's that. And of course you know they're watering. You can see the water in there. So that's all coming in there. It's all soaking up to the top. And I'm going to put them in the window under, on top of a grow mat, so that the, a germination mat, so that they'll get up to about 25 degrees and germinate those seeds. And then I'm going to take a walk around here and I'll show you what's been going on around here with the state of the garden address. It is uh, currently March the 12th today. It's my grandmother's birthday. She'd be 127 years old if Mary Ellen Burton was still alive. Love you, Granny. Now, we're going to go back, so I'm just going to pause for a minute, guys. I don't have any editing software yet. I haven't decided on what I'm going to use. So here we go. Just give me a minute. Okay, we're going to stand on the 2 by well, not 2 by 4 2 by 12 I'm going to take a look at the garden here. There's nothing really coming up. I'm looking for tulips. It's a little... The temperature hasn't really gotten up to where tulips are going to germinate. I'm standing out here in a, just a shirt. It's about 5 degrees Celsius. But it's not a terribly sunny day, as you can tell. So there's nothing going on there yet. But it's just a matter of time in this little garden. And then I'll go pan around here and I'll show you the old dead sage. And I got some onions that are trying to poke through. But you know onions, they never die. Ooh, looks like a trowel. It looks like it's sprouting too. <laughs> okay, so this garden is primarily uh, um, onions and garlic and sage. It's a herb garden. So that's what that looks like, guys. Right now, we'll go back and I'll show you what's going on back in the ditch. Uh, you may have noticed that we had some deer tracks here. I'll show you the feeder. I just want to move off track here, guys. The feeder here last night got hit. But... It's been hit a few times this winter, and they've been kicking the snot out of this thing, guys. They've uh, literally, I've seen them up on their two back paws, and they're just hammering this, like, boxing it, like, bang, 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 bang. And I guess they're trying to shake the seeds out of it, eh? So, you can see they busted it up to the point where <laughs> there's not much going on there. These are tough deer. And uh, if you look for deer tracks, I showed you in the other 4K... There's a deer track there, nothing too substantial. And then over here, so they're not big deer that came last night, but the, we get them in here. So I did take a look under the garden, guys, and there's nothing to write home about. It's pretty quiet. It really hasn't started germinating yet. So we need to clear that off and let the sun hit it, but there's going to be no sun ooh, excuse me, today, so we're not going to worry about it much. And we'll take our walk down here, and I'll show you what's been going on down here. Lots of deer tracks in that yard, you can see. They're coming from all over. Yeah. Oh, there's a good, good set of tracks right there. Okay, guys. It's hard for me to see in the lens. I don't even know if this is filming right. I'm hoping it is. So I've been just sticking my coffee grounds, eggshells, and banana peels, and other garden rubbish in here. And I'm going to fold it over and just pile it in there and... Uh, our 9 by 12 watermelon garden, or 9 by by uh, 9 right now, but it, it's probably going to get to 9 by 12. I think I'm going to keep it to no more than 6 watermelons. Probably 2, though. 2 is more advisable. So that's what's going to happen here. And, of course, I'm going to put landscape fabric on it. I told you all that stuff. So the next project I got is I'm going to uh, take and burn off all this wood here this spring. And I'm going to utilize this part of the garden for, I don't know, maybe a little lettuce bed or something like that. But you can see I have an old peach tree here. And uh needs to be burnt off. It's just a nuisance. And then you're going to start cutting there to get rid of that and a few things. And this is all going to be sunflowers in here, guys. Because I'm going to make like a landscape of privacy. Don't need a fence. 
what you need to do is grow into it. Oh, a little windy out here, but no shirt. Whoa, almost slipped there. Compost pile over here. I can see the deer have been over here too. So what I might do with this piece of grass here is I'm probably gonna put a fence up here, guys. Just a little quick one. And I'm gonna put sunflowers up against it and they're gonna make like a nice little sunflower privacy uh, area here. I, I'd rather plants than a fence, but uh, you need the fence to secure the, uh, the uh, the uh, sunflowers because I'm talking about the giant Russians and they grow quite tall and they'll topple easy enough in a windstorm but we get a lot of them around here so I'm gonna say oh, oh. this is Rob I'm gonna hypnotize you to sleep <laughs> okay so uh, first of all I also want to thank everyone for subscribing hello chickadee to the channel because I've had a massive subscriptions I've been out looking for some and uh, people have been obliging me and I've been um, checking in on their channels because with gardening you have to have a multiple uh, multiple skills you have to be able to be a carpenter you have to be a gardener obviously but you have to know a little bit about plants so lots of things going on so anyway thank you for your subscriptions and uh, I hope I'm entertaining enough to keep you around and uh, we'll see you guys very soon Rob out for now take care everyone